When a vehicle comes in for a service, a lot of engine settings need to be adjusted. There's dwell and ignition timing, CO emission, idle speed and so on. Of course, each of the settings must be measured before you adjust it. And doing those measurements as you go along can take up a good deal of time. But if your dealership has one of these formidable machines, you can do all those tests and more in one go. The VAG2000 is a computerized testing device designed to diagnose a wide range of engine faults. Although it looks rather complicated, it isn't really. Basically, it's just a sophisticated meter. This unit contains the electronics. These leads take the measurements. These buttons allow you to select individual tests, and the result appears here in these windows. First things first, power. It's now doing a self-test. The self-test is a procedure which ensures that everything is working correctly. Each digit is tested. Then the probes are checked and, when necessary, zeroed. The printer is also tested and it's finished. These LEDs show that it has been a successful self-test. In other words, that the VAG2000 is ready for operation. A self-test will not be successful unless the machine has been correctly set up. That is, all the leads must be correctly connected to the boom and disconnected from the vehicle, and this, the pressure sensor, must be empty. So what happens when the machine has been incorrectly set up? Let's take the pressure sensor off the boom. self-test, and no LEDs light. That shows that it was an unsuccessful self-test. Instead of the LEDs, there's zero one in the left-hand window, indicating one fault. Press cylinder select, and zero two appears in the right-hand window. This is called a defect code. To find out what it means, check the defect card kept in this drawer. Zero two, the pressure sensor. Two faults, disconnected pressure sensor. And now let's open the current clamp to prevent it being zeroed. Self-test. Zero two in the left-hand window, two faults. Zero two in the right-hand window, the pressure sensor as before. Now press cylinder select again and the second default code appears. Zero one. And referring again to the defect card, the current clamp. If the leads have been removed from the boom and you're in doubt as to which one goes where, check the manual, which has a diagram of how they should be. Well, that's it. The VAG 2000 powered up, self-tested and ready for use. The self-test was successful. Now what? Connect the VAG2000 to the vehicle to be serviced. Some of the connections are pretty obvious. These, for instance, go to the battery. These two attach to the ignition coil. Blue to terminal 15. Green to terminal 1. The point side. This goes to D+. Plus. If you can't find the D+, plus, that's the blue wire, disconnect the main wiring plug. Replace it with this 951 adapter. 
reconnect the main wiring plug and then attach this, the 982. If the battery is separate from the engine, use the extension. Temperature sensor, in place of the dipstick. Only the end is sensitive. These measure current, voltage and resistance in the range 0 to 5 amps, 0 to 40 volts and 0 to 99.9 .9 kilo ohms, automatically going from ohms to kilo ohms. When you're not using them, leave the ends together. A top dead center sensor. It goes into the bell housing. There's also an extension. And for flat four engines, a 983 and a 980 for vehicles with built-in TDC sensor. This clamps around number one spark lead and this clamps around the earth leads of the battery with the arrow towards the battery. Terminal four, main high tension lead from coil. A stroboscope, the pressure vacuum sensor which measures air, oil, water and petrol from between 5.7 bar and minus 0.8. There it is, fully connected. All the leads are in use except the vacuum sensor, the multimeter and the stroboscope. Of course, if the vehicle is cold, it must be prepared for testing. In other words, run the engine till the temperature is above 70 degrees centigrade. Ready to go. You can do all the tests controlled by the top seven buttons at once. That's 11 tests in all by pressing this, the automatic button. And when the tests have been done, the VAG2000 will automatically print the results and put a heading on the printout. Here we go. Battery voltage. Voltage terminal 15. Dwell. Volts at terminal one. Pressure vacuum. Ignition timing. The vehicle has stopped because to test starter current, you've obviously got to start the car. And those LEDs are flashing to indicate just that. They're called action lights, and they only flash when you have to do something. Turn it over on the key and give it full throttle. The vehicle won't start till the countdown in the right-hand window reaches zero or the action lights go out. And there's the starter current. And the battery voltage under load. And the compression test. The engine misfires because the spark is being taken from each lead in turn. Cylinder balance and ignition voltage. And now you get a printout and heading. There's a couple of things to note about this printout. The compression test shows the reading for the lowest cylinder first. It's expressed as a percentage of the highest cylinder. So the highest cylinder is 100%. And the cylinders appear in block rather than firing order. That's it. All the main tests done in one and a printout for you to use throughout the service. Even if all you do with the VAG2000 is the automatic cycle of tests, it can be very useful. Many dealerships do the automatic test before and after servicing. They present the customer with both printouts, proof of what required servicing and evidence that that servicing was in fact performed. You've tested the vehicle and certain faults have come to light. The VAG2000 can now be used like an ordinary meter, selecting one test at a time as you adjust each engine setting. One thing to remember is that the results of the automatic test are stored, so if you want to use it to test a particular setting, you have to cancel the memory. All you do is press the relevant test button twice. You can now work on the timing and use the VAG2000 in place of the VAG1367. 
The right-hand window displays the results of the tests performed by these buttons on the right-hand side. And not surprisingly, the left-hand window shows the results of the tests performed by the buttons on the left-hand side. The furthest window is for the revs. But you can also program the VAG2000. That means that you can load tolerances into its memory for the vehicle that you're working on, and it will guide you through adjusting the engine settings. You program it with one of these program cards. Slide it smoothly into the slot with the arrow up and the cutoff on the right. The light is flashing because the card was loaded rather jerkily. Simply reload it more smoothly. And although it seems unnecessary to mention it, make sure that you load the right card for the vehicle you're working on because the machine can't check for you. The VAG2000 is now programmed. As the engine settings are adjusted, LEDs will indicate what you must do. Those red ones show that it is outside the tolerances. The right-hand green one lights up to show that the setting is at the top of the tolerances. A green LED on the left would show that you are at the bottom. The middle green LED lights up to indicate that it is just between the upper and lower tolerances. When operating with a program card, the printout will include tolerances, and asterisks will appear beside any reading that is outside them. That, basically, is all you need to know to begin using the VAG2000. Of course, there are details. Looking more closely at the machine, there are several controls that haven't been mentioned. For instance, if this lights up, you have to program in the number of cylinders on the vehicle being tested. And this is the scroll button. Press it to get a printout of whatever is in the windows. If you hold it in, it'll do you a heading. Which brings us to these heading cards. Load one at the beginning of the day, and the heading will be stored while the power is on. There. Now your dealership's name will appear at the top of every printout. This is the preset speed button. It is used when a test must be performed at certain revs. Select a test. For instance, alternator voltage. Switch on the preset speed button and hold it down till the required revolutions have been reached. The tolerance lights are now effective to tell you when you are at the right revs. You can go through the cylinders by pressing the Cylinder Select button. These LEDs flash if you've overloaded the machine, or if it's too close to a large electromagnetic field, or at too high or lower temperature. The VAG2000 will do a lot more, like ballast resistor circuits, battery drain test, stroboscopic timing, etc. If you want to find out about it, it's all here in the manual. It can be seen that the VAG2000 can be used in a very flexible manner within the workshop, providing the opportunity for use with special promotions, fault finding and quality control. And since the VAG2000 is a robust machine, you shouldn't be afraid to experiment. It's unlikely to harm it. But that's probably enough, at least for an introduction.